Yo, 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 what's up? It's JB, representing JB Extreme Fitness. I'm back, guys. Anyways, uh, here I am. I'm about to go hit the gym. Uh, I'm about to have my little pre-workout. So right now, what I mix up, I have five grams of BCAs, and then I have five grams of creatine. Shout out BPI Sports. So I use their BCA, it's called Best BCAs, and then Best Creatine. So I mix that up. I'm actually doing that now. And today we're training buys and tries. Boom, so one scoop is five grams of that creatine. It's making me hold a little water. Creatine always does, but that's the coach protocols, and I do what my coach tells me to. So we'll cut it. I'm actually in prep right now. Uh, Sunday will be five weeks out. So I'm, I'm sure that we'll cut the creatine as we get closer to the show. Uh, but for now, that's part of my pre-workout. And then uh, six ounces of grape juice. Got that here. So mix that in. Boom. Got that in there. Shake it up. And I'll just drink it on the way to the gym. So anyways, uh, I just got through watching the press conference for 2016 Mr. Olympia. It got me hyped. Um, I want you guys, at the end of this video, I want you guys to comment below on uh, who you think is going to win or who your top five or top three in the bodybuilding category. Who you think the top five or top three will be for uh, the bodybuilding Mr. Olympia. Uh, based on what I've seen, Phil Heath has been the champ for the last five years. He's, he's been it for five times. Uh, I mean, you've seen it in all, a lot of sports. I mean, you got LeBron James, Michael Jordan. There's so many. Peyton Manning. It's hard to beat a champ. Um, I, in, my, in my opinion, I think it would be really hard to beat Phil Heath. Uh, but he, any champ can lose. Anybody can lose. Um, but he's just, he seems like he has that mindset that he may... That he that he's done everything that he needs to do. He knows how to win, so he's gonna be really tough to beat. Uh, here's my top three. I'm gonna say I'm actually I'll give you my top three: Bill Heath, Dexter Jackson, and Kevin Lavroni. Like he came back in six months, hadn't trained, hadn't done a show in 13 years. Six months of training. And uh, he actually displayed himself. Uh, he did a little pose down at the press conference. And this guy looks amazing. Like, he looks like he belongs there. And he has this hype going about him as well. Um, and me being a competitor, I understand there's money involved. There's always politics in any sport. It's been that way. It's always been that way. That's just what it is. But at the same time, the best will win. Uh, that's my top three. Uh, I do. I, I've been following Ramey. Uh, several other guys as well uh in my opinion big ramey like he's a monster he's a beast but he's gonna have to come in shredded he could beat just like they said he could beat phil heath but he's gonna have to come in shredded from neck to toe like in order to beat phil heath phil heath is gonna be hard to beat uh dexter dexter has won before uh kevin marvoni like he was i think he's i'm not for sure don't hold me to this but i think he's won too before back in his time in the 90s um or at least place top three something like that but that's my opinion it's just an opinion don't get in your feelings uh leave a comment below tell me what you think i'm about to head to the gym get this workout in i'm really excited to see the olympia this year i think it's going to be streaming on amazon um so yeah that's pretty much it and i'll catch you guys next time don't forget to like my content um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah leave that feedback below let me know who you who you got for, uh, for the bodybuilding division at the Olympia uh, men's physique that's what I do um, same thing um, Jeremy Buenda he's gonna be hard to beat but there's a lot of competition in men's physique so I'm looking forward to seeing the turnout of that as well anyways guys I gotta go hit these buys and tries make sure you get yours today too and I'll catch you next time, baby. Yeah.